everyone, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a what's in my bag video featuring the Normandy and Damier Aban and the black or noir, uh, I believe it's called Torion leather. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys what's in my bag. Um, today, uh, I've been using it for the past uh, week, week and a half. And I'm gonna switch it out today. Today is Tuesday. Um, I have I'm not using the shoulder strap currently. Um, I decided just to handheld, just to carry it um, by hand, um, since you know I was just going to be uh, just you know running around, and you know I don't need to be hands free or anything like that. Just in and out of places. So here it goes the bag. So you can see that it is nicely structured at the bottom. You can see here, it is very full and it is heavy. It does feel heavy. Um, I guess when I remove everything out of the bag, um, I can let you know, uh, you know, if the bag is heavy empty, uh, cause I don't remember, <laughs> but I do have, um, some, you know, heavy, a few heavy items in here. So depending on what you carry, it can get a little bit heavy um, being carried handheld, but on the shoulder, it'll be com more comfortable because it does come with a thick strap. And I did not bring the strap here to show you because like I said, um, I'm not using the strap today. So um, I did do a, uh, you know, unboxing and a small review on the bag already. Um, I can go more in depth if you want me to do a separate video, but I pretty much uh, did that on the other video and I will link it um, somewhere up here or towards the end of the video and maybe in the description box if I remember. So um, let's get started. Um, first off, um, in the front here, I'm not use, really, use, can't even talk. I'm not really fully utilizing this uh, front uh, compartment. So as you can see that I did keep the lock on it. It is open, but the lock is still there. And what I have here in the front compartment is my cell phone. And this is a six plus. Um, it is, you know, convenient to have it here. It doesn't fall down or anything like that. So you can just easily pull it in and out. So um, I love that about this bag. Now to get into the back pocket here which is there, you can see what I have in there. I only have three items. So on one side, I have my coin purse, my round coin purse, which has my coins. And the middle, I have my tissue holder. This is just a tissue holder. And I have my key pouch or my key, well, my clay or whatever you wanna call it. So I do have a few keys in here. And this is in still in great condition. I don't remember when I bought this one. I don't know. The day code is somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a little review on it, but it's still in great condition. There's like no cracking or anything whatsoever in this. And I love that. I absolutely love it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the main compartment. And here is what's in my main compartment. So you can see everything that I have in there. And I don't have anything. This has two slip pockets in the back, as you can see somewhat. Um, I don't have anything in those slip pockets, but I'll go ahead and show you what I have in the main compartment of the bag. So what I do have is my Neverfull pouch and this, uh, I think this is the GM, no, this is the MM size, I believe. I did purchase this off a of Facebook um, group. Um, I removed the strap and this was in brand, brand new condition and I believe I got a pretty good deal on it. I believe it was like 225 or something like that. And the inside is red and it's a made in France piece. And of course, in Damier Aben. I keep my uh, coupons in here. I also keep whatever gift cards I have, which I have quite a few. And it just works out great. 
And also I will tend to keep receipts in the back uh, pocket here, which I have none right now, but um, that's a great place to keep receipts as well. Um, so I absolutely love this. I love things like this. I love to keep my stuff separate, um, separated. That way I know where, you know, certain items are. Um, if not, then everything tends to get, you know, become too much and, and uh, you know, to put into a wallet. And when I show you my wallet, you'll see what I mean because I still have a lot of stuff in there. Another item I have is my sunglass case. And currently I have the same glasses in here. These are the, the Louis Vuitton ones. This sunglass case has held up really well. Um, I've had no issues with it. It is still a little stiff. I am thinking of probably selling this uh, case just because I don't really enjoy it as much as I do just having just my regular sunglass case that the glasses come with. Um, but these are the mimosas. I think these are, have been discontinued. These are like by Louis Vuitton. I don't know if you can see them here. Uh, sorry about my nails. They just look crappy, but you can see. And this is what they look like on. I do have a, you know, sunglass collection video about, you know, showing these and, or maybe going a little bit more in depth with them. But yeah, um, also, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of selling this, but this is in like brand new condition. Like I said, I barely even use it. I have my toilet, toiletry, I can't speak today. I don't know what my problem is. My toiletry pouch 19 and the monogram, obviously. This is like a made in France one. Um, I love using this. This is so convenient. I have uh, some, a lot of my essentials here, like personal stuff, um, you know, a uh, Chanel compact, a liner, um, hand cream. I think I even have a brush. I like a hair clip and a tie just in case. Feminine products, mascara, a perfume atomizer. I even have my little brush. So I have a lot of, st I, I have like quite a bit of things in here. Normally I will carry the toiletry 19 and then I will carry... Um, just depending, I will carry like my, a makeup bag, but it just is not going to fit in here because it'll just be too much. But this holds quite a bit, especially if you organize it really nicely, you can fit a lot in there. Okay. And then last but not least, I believe. Yeah. Last but not least is my wallet. This is my zippy uh, wallet. Um, this isn't like the large size. It's not the compact wallet. I've had this since 2009 or 2010, I believe. I have gotten this reglazed re probably twice because, uh, and it was uh, no charge because it was, um, I guess, kind of like a, you know, defective thing or something like that because it happened quite early on and then it started happening again a year later and they still repaired it for free. So. And then after the second repair, I have not had any issues with it. And it's been like several years um, since it's been repaired. So it's been great. This wallet has taken a beating. I, I, I use it all the time. I don't know if you can see here, like the little, I guess, I don't know if it's like fading or what's going on with it. Um, but other than that, it's in great condition. The zipper, just, of course, just has your usual hairline scratches. But as you can see, um, you know, it's just a nice wallet. I mean, I have like a bill here. I have gift cards here, which need to go over there. I keep a little bit of change here and there goes a bunch of receipts and then my credit cards on the back. But as you can see, it does, it's very full. And uh, if you can see that kind of worked. So that is it. That is what I carry in the bag. You can also fit in um, an MM planner. It'll fit just fine in here, but it does take up a lot of room. As you can see, you won't be able to fit probably everything that I showed you all. Um, it'll, it'll, I mean, it'll fit fine depending. If you want to carry your cosmetic pouch or your toiletry pouch, then the G, the MM agenda. Then you can carry your wallet. If you have a smaller wallet, you can change into the smaller wallet. 
your sunglass case. You have to have your glasses. I know I do. I have sensitive eyes. And then just back the stuff in the back compartment. And then pretty much, um, you can probably try to squeeze this in. I don't know. Maybe it'll fit in the com the front compartment. But and there goes everything. Like it all fits. Look at that. And the zipper will probably be tight, but it still fits. You can put the sunglass case on top. Maybe. And it should fit. It should or shouldn't. <laughs> it's a little bit tight, but it still fits. It is a lot of stuff to have carry. Um, this bag didn't feel too heavy, um, empty. So I don't know, maybe I can do like another review on the, um, you know, comparing this to like Speedy and to the Montane and to other, you know, handheld carry bags. So anyways, that is it. I hope that this was helpful. For you all, I know a lot of you had requested to see uh, what's in my bag uh, featuring this beautiful Normandy. So that is it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, you can click on the subscribe button or at the end of the video, you'll see my face. And you can click on that and check out my other videos. So thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you all on my another video. On another video. <laughs> Bye for now.